they all rolled into one. A New York nine year old still recovering months after doctors say she had a stroke while playing soccer. What's even more confusing, the girl doesn't have any underlying conditions, but despite the questions, she's taking big steps towards recovering. One day at a time for May Cunningham. The nine-year-old is making strides after experiencing a stroke in October during a soccer game. All of a sudden, um, I just noticed that her foot started to drag. We kept on asking her, what's wrong? What's wrong? Does it hurt? And she was just kind of blank. She couldn't really respond. She was rushed to the hospital where doctors said she suffered a right-sided stroke on the field. They haven't figured out the underlying cause. When you're told that she may never talk or, um, you know, you know, you utilize her right side, you're devastated, right? Like this is your child, like you want the best for them. May spent months in the hospital, but recently transitioned as an outpatient, going through physical, occupational, and speech therapy at Blythdale Children's Hospital in Westchester. May remains a happy and outgoing young girl and is making improvements. She's starting to walk more independently with more confidence. Um, her speech is improving. She's really just making tremendous gains. The hospital has the added benefit of a school program to help ease the transition when it's time to return to her former school. And May has been doing the work. Reading in Writing. It's been an incredible journey just watching her regain her ability to walk, uh, to use her right arm and her speech. I, the, the most incredible thing is every day she does things that, that amaze us. Reuniting with her family and her dog Cookie is a highlight in this journey. Now, doctors say pediatric strokes are exceedingly rare. However, that can make it harder to spot, especially because kids may not have all the usual symptoms that adults do. Things like seizures, extreme sleepiness, or sudden changes in vision could be signs in kids.